creating vibrations using sound and music. I don't know if you know this, but all sounds are vibrations. Shut up! And they cause phenomena in their environment. And Journey of Curiosity has brought it upon themselves to show us. Jacob Lee Adlington is using chematics? Semantics. Semantics. To show off the phenomena of Faraday ripples. I'm not Hank Green levels of science. Now I'm Jimmy Buffett. Great. Thanks. I've done a little research. I'm going to do my best. Mostly Wikipedia. Faraday waves or Faraday ripples are non-linear standing waves that appear on liquids that are enclosed in a vibrating receptacle. <laughs> That's so specific. When the vibration frequency exceeds a critical value, the flat hydrostatic surface becomes unstable. This is known as the Faraday instability, named after Michael Faraday. And it gets more confusing with parametric resonance and closed packed hexagons and quantum mechanics, and I'm not even gonna try, but it looks pretty, and that's what's important. <laughs> <laughs> Adlington's work reminds me of Cosmodernism, which is another artist that I featured in season one of Art Every Day. If you want to find that Cosmodernism video quickly, the easiest way is probably to join my broadcast channel. I post updates for this show every day there, but I'll also post the Cosmodernism video today. I also put it in the YouTube comment section. Go enjoy watching some waves.